He was one of the first Hispanic American actors who won so many awards and become successful throughout the 1930s and 1960s. Anthony Quinn played so many characters that people loved and some people hated, depending if he was a hero or a villain. And this is his basic biography. Early Life Anthony Rodolfo Quinn Oshaka was born on the 21st of April 1915 in Chihuahua, Mexico, during the height of the Mexican Revolution. He was born to a Mexican mother and a Mexican father. He was able to move to Texas, United States at a young age to live with his grandmother. This was due to his parents fighting in the Mexican Revolution. His father returned after the war and moved to the California, United States with his family and lived on a farm where his family worked and lived. Later on, he and his family lived in the East LA where Quinn's father worked in zoos and even on Hollywood sets after working on the farm. Sadly, Quinn's father passed away when Anthony was 10 years old uh, and even needed some support for his family and even was able to take up various jobs just to help his family survive. Architect of his own future, Quinn managed to study subjects such as arts and architecture due to leaving school at a young age. He was also taking up boxing in his spare time. Being an architect, he won so many awards and then enrolled in acting school at the same time. He would have a future in acting and taking small roles here and there just to keep his career afloat. This helped him open up a bit more to other people and even learn English fluently towards people and gaining opportunities for work in the future. He still worked as an artist and architect whilst being an actor, making him work better on sets and stage by learning from an artistic manner and teaching this manner in his acting career. In 1930s, Anthony Quinn began to start his film career and play as a Native American warrior in The Plainsman on the side of Gary Cooper, another fellow actor, and even worked with director Cecil B. DeMille, who would later become his father-in-law. However, Quinn would be typecasted as a coloured character in most of his film roles during the time in the 1930s and somewhat in the 1960s in his acting career. Yet, he would play prominent and notable characters such as the Mexican revolutionary Emifo Zapata in the 1952 film Viva Zapata, acting alongside with another Hollywood legend, Marlon Brando. He also played Zorbas in uh, Zorbas the Greek, his real name in the character was Alexis Zorbas, and even Auda Abu Tayyai in Lawrence of Arabia, starring alongside Peter O'Toole in 1962. Typecasting and being honoured Anthony Quinn had the issue of being typecast as a coloured man in most of his movies, or a man from different nations. This was due to his background of being Latin American or Latin descent at the time where people of colour was working on small roles and only getting less than top billing for their roles. Nonetheless, Quinn managed to win an Academy Award for his role as Zapata and even being the first Latin American actor to be, to be honoured and still being typecast as different characters. He was able to play Greek sailors, an Arabian warrior, and even a Mexican revolutionary, and plus taking a role as a Mongolian emperor. He was winning so many awards such as the Academy Awards, Golden Globes, and even BAFTAs for his performances that made people laugh, cry, and sometimes dislike him for playing as a villain in some of his roles. Outside of acting, he was a painter and making more modern art at the time 
as well as winning prizes for the best works of art and architecture that people have ever seen. Plus, writing books based on his arts and even being an activist on the civil rights movement and even helping Hispanic actors in the United States. Personal life and final years. Quinn was married three times and had at least 12 children. His first wife was the daughter of the director that helped him work in his, one of his first movies. Her name was Catherine de Mille. Catherine de Mille and Anthony Quinn were married from 1937 to 1965. The couple had five children. His second wife was Yolanda Adelori and were married in 1966 to 1997. The couple had three children and finally his last wife was Catherine Benvin and they also had two children at the time. He worked as an actor for many years and as a painter as well as an architect, then turning to activism in his later life where he was actively working in the civil rights movement and activist in the civil rights movement as well. Even working with activism on Latin American workers rights and even rights movements for Latin Americans with his career in Hollywood and even outside of Hollywood. He was a writer becoming a writer uh, on his own memoirs and books even archived some are still sold today. He managed to act in his older age, starring in minor roles and even making guest appearances. One of his guest appearances was in the 1993 movie The Last Action Hero, where he starred with Arnold Schwarzenegger and even Charles Dance. But his final role was Avenging Angelo in 2002, which also starred him with Sylvester Stallone. Legacy of a Legend Sadly, Anthony Quinn passed away at the age of 81 in Boston, United States, due to cancer. Yet his legacy was living on after his death due to his children carrying on his works of art and carrying on and keeping his legacy alive even till today. There are many places that have honoured him as a legend and even people knew him as a legend as well and as a friend. People like Aristotle Onassis, Kirk Douglas and many, many famous people at the time. Countries such as Mexico have created statues of his poses in Zorba the Greek. In Rhodes, Greece, there is a beach named after him and even finally in the United States where his childhood home was honoured in East LA. Yet the great man who accomplished great things still lives on today and is able to influence many actors. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm Suku Cookie and please have time to look into my other videos and even stay tuned for content like this. Thank you for watching.